The secret to the huge angel dog has finally been cracked. We have finally found out how you actually get it, as well as someone who actually already owns it. If I go to the index machine right over here and actually go to pets and search up huge angel dog, you can see, well, for some reason, I guess it just doesn't show the exist count since I don't own it. But this pet does actually exist. One of my clanmates and one of my friends expels himself has gotten this pet. But you're probably wondering how in the world did he find out? As you know, the way you get to the stairway to heaven, there is two things you can do. If you have VIP, one, you could actually just go to this little crack right here and jump right through. But that's only possible if you have VIP. You can also actually do it without VIP, in which instead, you teleport to the jungle jungle temple right here i believe this is the place yes and you go to the jungle lobby and all you have to do is literally jump off and as soon as you die you want to press home and this is going to actually make you fall out the map and now you spawn in stairway to heaven for any regular player like us climbing these stairs will almost get you to nowhere the reason why I say that is because as you actually climb up here and do stuff like this, um, I mean, you're not going to be able to see anything. It's going to like give you messages, kind of like spoiling you. I wonder if there is anything at the top. But if I go in free cam, which kind of lets me get all the way to the top early, you will see that there is a one absolutely nothing all the way up here i am all the way at the top this is where it finishes on my game and there is nothing up here now if i actually keep going higher and higher what's going to happen is the bottom is going to start disappearing it's also gonna say things such as keep going these messages or well messages i don't know if they're actually shoveled or what but um they will keep like giving you messages and it basically means nothing so then how do you actually get it well there is actually footage and knowledge that we have managed to get from someone regarding this thing and you know what bro let's go ahead and go all the way down before i show you guys this i have actually went ahead and blurred this person because they use exploits to get up here and I'm pretty sure I cannot show that. But as you guys can see, they said since everyone wants to talk about this scare staircase thing, lol, this is what the ending will look like. I'm looking through things related to this and will be posting findings in the replies. And as you guys can see from the picture, this person has gotten all the way to the end. This is the highest possible level for them as there is no more stairs above this. They have also mentioned that people who have used macros to get all the way up here may have not actually seen what is there. And you may have actually fallen off the map or something just because stuff don't load. And that would kind of make sense. That is exactly why it could possibly be disappearing under you. And the lower you are to the ground, the less there is at the top so that way if somebody falls off trying to macro this they will not be able to get back up to that thing and whenever it spawns apparently it would be somewhat of like a straight line probably that would go straight forward but just like you guys myself have been curious on if this is an actual real thing because there's been a lot of rumors not gonna lie there has been a lot and some which i made my last video were apparently confirmed and fake but i really wanted to see if this one was real and the only reason you'd be seeing this video is if it's actually real and that's when i found out that my friend expels got this pet himself as you guys can see expels uploaded a video on i got the number one huge angel dog in which he actually did and i highly recommend you guys check it out but as you can see i am gonna just skim through it and right here inside of the video he actually has it 
But it does look like he actually ends up trading away the huge angel dog. And to show you guys that it is actually the huge angel dog, um, I'm just going to skim it to right here. And you can see it is the huge angel dog. It's no other pet and is obtained from the stairway thing. So this is a pretty rare item to have right now as only apparently one of them exists. But I feel like if it was a huge angel dog as you can see it shows me when like the huge angel cat exists and the amount of that that exists but for some reason the huge angel dog does not and if you guys know uh expels is a legitimate player i'm pretty sure he is actually very high up on the leaderboards and if you didn't know he's made every value list or the best value list for pet simulator x and is making pet simulator 99 so this dude kind of knows what he's doing and as you can see, we actually have messages regarding what the staircase says to you. For example, whenever you get to the height of 100, by the way, height is equivalent to the staircase that you're at. So there is all the way up to height 5000 and it still goes after this if you still haven't gotten it, but it no longer gives you messages from here onward. And as you can see, it gives you some pretty good uh, messages. And actually, this is high 50,000 and not 5,000. So yeah, that's kind of insane. Each level of height is actually counted by the staircase that you go up with. To show you guys what I mean, whenever you get to this part of the stairs, I'm pretty sure that counts as one. Or if it's not this one, it might be like the full rotation, so this would be one. But as you can tell, either way, it's a very, very high number. You can actually test this yourself by going up or counting the stairs, and eventually you'll know right there. As you can see, I wonder if there's anything at the top. Uh, actually, future numerous here, the height isn't the amount of stairs you climb, but like a level of actual height. So just scratch the thing I said, but it does count up the distance from the ground. And the further you actually climb, the more the distance becomes, as well as the floors start disappearing. There has also been a lot of myths regarding on how you actually get this thing to spawn. And the most popular one right now seems to be the common shower. Where people are saying if you activate a common shower, which you can only do once per day, it allows you to actually have the area spawn. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this thing just like so. As you guys can see, comets are raining down. And I'm going to quickly go ahead, go to the spawn world and uh, go all the way to the end so that we can um, go to the secret staircase. Okay, here we are, and there we are. Here we are at the staircase, and I'm just going to go ahead and climb this thing for a little bit. I think right now, if I actually free cam all the way to the top, there won't be anything just because nothing has started generating yet. Yeah, still nothing here all the way at the top, so let's go ahead and keep on going. Okay, I've gotten so high to the point where the ground has officially disappeared. So now if I go into free cam as well and go all the way to the top, let's see if we see it there. I mean, it's supposed to be there according to this myth, but it does not look like it's actually here. So yeah, overall, it's probably actually only just the chance of it spawning in. And I don't want to waste any more time trying to climb this high up for a golden huge pet. I'm curious though to know if you guys think this is a worthy thing to do. Do you think it's even worth it to get this? Or do you think there's other ways to get a huge golden pet that are probably a lot easier? I mean, I made plenty of videos on how to get gems very quickly. And there is going to be another one which is kind of insane coming out tomorrow. But this is still semi of a mystery. But the thing that we can confirm is that you can get it. I did also contact Expels asking him if he knows how to get it since he did trade for it. And I was sure that he asked the guy who did get it. But unfortunately, he does not know either. 
Now, the thing that is a little bit suspicious to me is the fact that if the guy knows how to get it, and if it is easy to get it, wouldn't he have actually gotten more of the huge angel dodge? Or at least more than one. So what it's making me think is that you probably have to achieve something that is one, either very hard, or impossible what if the achievement to finish this doesn't even have to do with the stairs although the stairs do count and apparently it's found on the stairs what if you don't climb up who knows what i'm saying it could be something that i'm sharing with you guys or it could be another just myth but one thing I will say, similar to the podcast that we had in the last game, if you know, the podcasts used to be like the biggest trend and they're actually not even in this game. And they held a lot of value, so maybe they're trying to reintroduce it into this game, trying to get people to hype up for it, try to find it, and give people things to do. The one thing I will say though is that I think it is definitely not going to be easy at all. I personally think this is going to be one of the hardest achievements to get in the game. Not just because, one, we can't find it, but also because of the fact it's really hard to do. And I do want to go ahead and open my chest keys for the crystal chest. If you guys aren't doing this, it's very important to do so because they give some amazing rewards. I just got fortune! Wait a minute. No way, bro. This is literally what I mean. Fortune is the best thing you can get. Now I have four fortune books. And let's go ahead and open another one because I have one more. And okay, nothing this time. I'm still trying to get charms, by the way. Like I showed you guys in my last video. There's some charms that are insane. It also does look like we're going to be getting an update in around two and a half days, which is on a Saturday. And if you actually don't know what they're introducing, they are introducing this entirely brand new area right here. And currently, you can go into it. And I've literally made a video talking about this where I went in here. And as you guys can see, there's stuff that is meant to be inside of here. I mean, it's literally decorated. And as you can see, there is a leak of this area going further down. They also provided a picture inside of the machine where you can actually get a rare enchant. And that is great because that is still not a thing in the game yet. Currently, the enchant machine that you have in the game, I don't even know where the best one is, bro. But, like, I think if it, it's got to be in the area 47, right? Um, okay, no, this one is rare potions. So, not even that one. But if you do go further back, you will see it's not rare enchants yet. This one is just random enchants you can get all of the worst ones with it yeah not a single good enchant there but what in the world and right now trying to combine enchantments is kind of good but in the end it's not that good either because yes they're pretty easy to get however when you have 110 of the lucky eggs it's kind of hard to get them all the way to the best version and they also like do not sell for a lot which is another kind of bad part of it i mean with 110 right there and some more i can only make two more lucky egg fours and there we go i only have nine of these now but this is actually what I'm using to get coins very fast, guys. It works pretty well. I think it's the best method. I didn't actually decide to make a video on this just because I feel like coins are pretty easy to get anyway. But if you're really a tryhard like me, um, this is something you can use. Very expensive, though, to get these. I think I spent over like 10 million gems on this. And I really should be donating more to my clan, not gonna lie. If I'm looking at the Hippo Melon clan, they have some pretty nice donations. Like, I mean, the only people that are really carrying them are, like, the developers, bro. Which is, or, well, not developers and leaderboard players. Which is Caddy Robo, as well as Twin and Rin. But everybody else down here doesn't have much. I actually have more than majority of them somehow. Um, but I haven't even donated in like forever. And just to show you guys, for us to get one more officer slot, it literally costs 12 million gems. 
And we have already gotten the max clan level, which gives some pretty cool rewards here, such as uh, breakables having a chance to reward double diamonds. And a bunch of other little cool mini things. But I really like this method because one, you get a lot of rewards from it. But you can also make so much coins. It's also okay for gems too. I mean, the fortune books help out a lot. And I do use the fortune flag to make it a lot better. Let's go ahead and actually use all of our rainbow fruits and every other fruit that we have. So that we can do a lot of damage. As you guys can see, yeah, we're literally just going so fast now. It's been like, what, a minute or two? And I gained over 5k of the platinum bars. So it's a pretty good working method. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, watch the video on the screen. It's one of my favorite videos, and I think you will enjoy it a lot. Until then, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.